video is about finding the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. And we're going to be using a Venn diagram, and it is a really amazing technique, probably one you haven't seen before. And what I'm going to recommend is that if you haven't already seen the crime factorization birthday cake video, that you go and check it out because it's just a nice piece to have with this. And I have a friend who's an amazing math teacher, and he's just oh, incredible. And he's been teaching for over 30 years. And about uh, two years ago, a friend and I showed him this method for finding the least common multiple and the greatest common factor, and he said it was the most amazing thing that he had learned that helped him in his teaching in, over, in the whole entire teaching career. It's that cool. And we're just going to be using it for the least common multiple and the greatest common factor, but there's a whole bunch more information in here than that. And when we come back to adding fractions and simplifying fractions, this Venn diagram is so incredible and will be so helpful. Now, first we're going to do is we're going to use find the prime factorization of 12 and 18, and we're going to find then we're going to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. So into 12 goes 2. That's a prime number that goes in. 2 goes into 12 six times, but I don't have a birthday candle yet. So 2 goes into 6 three times. Still don't have a candle, keep going. Three goes into three, one time. Ah, there's my little birthday candle. And going into 18, two goes into 18, nine times. Divide by three, three goes into nine, three times. Divide by three, goes into one. There's my little birthday candle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these two prime factorizations and ask ourselves, what do they have in common? Well, one thing I see is they both have the number two. So here's the 12th circle, here's the 18th circle, here's the area that is common to both of them. And 2 is in the 12th circle, and 2 is in the 18th circle. So I don't need to write it twice, because just there, it's included in both. And then I look and I say, oh, there's a 3 that's in both of those. And once again, these are being multiplied together, so here is 2 times 3. And I'm going to look at the 12th circle. Here's the 12th circle, and I see, well, 2 times 3 is 6. Oh, there's 6 times 2 is 12. That's the 12th circle. And over at the 18th circle, 2 times 3, the one thing I haven't done is multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 3, 18. From this diagram, we can see that what they have in common, this area here, is 2 times 3. This is the greatest common factor. 2 times 3, 6. Now when you're trying to find the least common multiple, what you have to do is you have to write out all those multiples. 12, 24, 36, 48. Then people start to get a little fuzzy after that number. So least common multiple when you list them out is great if the numbers are small and you find one quick. But when the numbers are big, you don't necessarily know all the multiples of 18. You go 18, 36, and then you start scratching your head and have to start multiplying stuff out. So when the numbers get big, listing them out is cumbersome and ineffective and often wrong because you make mistakes in your calculating. Where this method is just so much more elegant. And, like I said, when we get to simplifying and adding fractions, this thing, very cool. So the least common multiple is just the factors multiplied together. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36. So the least common multiple is 36. And, once again, this is cool, it has shortcuts. Here's 12, and 12 times 3 is 36. Or I can look at the 18th circle, 18 times 2, 36. Now, I highly recommend, this is an unusual method, you probably haven't seen it before. The beauty of video is you can go back and watch it again, and I recommend it because this stuff is super helpful. And once again, when we get into adding fractions and simplifying fractions, this thing has got so much information in it, it is mind-boggling and really super cool. So, enjoy.